The Ukrainian defense in Donbass is falling apart. Retreating in all directions, the Ukrainian army is losing from five to a dozen kilometers daily. After the Russian army took control of one of the main strongholds of Ogledar, the Ukrainian military switched to a focal defense on the southern front of the Donetsk People's Republic. The armed forces of Ukraine have no solid line of defense and no necessary reserves. As a result of the recent breakthrough, the Russian army took control of Bogoyevlenka, where the Ukrainian command hoped to restrain a further Russian advance. West of Ogledar, the Russians took control of Shokhtorskoy. They are knocking Ukrainians out from Novokranka advancing on a wide front between the two villages. North of Ogledar, the Ukrainian army lost control of Katerinovka and battles began in neighboring Elizabetovka. The advancing Russian units cut the important road leading to Korokovo from the south. The rapid Russian advance paves the way for the encirclement of Velikaya Novoselka from the north which deprives Kiev of the slightest hope of any counteroffensive to the coast of the Sea of Azov to Mariupol. At the same time, the Russians are threatening the Ukrainian garrison in Korokovo with encirclement from the south. While fighting is already ongoing in the eastern part of the town, Ukrainian forces are ground down in cauldrons north of the city. On October 27, the Russian Ministry of Defense officially confirmed control of Izmolovka. The resisting Ukrainian forces in Kremenea Baka are in a pincer grip. The Russians are completing mop-up operations in Gornyak. Fighting has reached Korokovka. Ukrainian forces are retreating, unable to counterattack. In the Pokrovsk direction, after a partial encirclement and a week of heavy urban battles, another fortress, the city of Selodovo, fell. The Russian flag flies over the local administration building. The last Ukrainian units are leaving the city. Russians are completing the mop-up operation on northwestern outskirts. Ukrainian positions are no better in other directions, including in the Russian Korsk region. However, unlike Ukrainian soldiers, who are fleeing from their positions under Russian fire, Kiev's propaganda is not discouraged. Amid the new defeats, the Ukrainian media spread reports about another Ukrainian counteroffensive coming. Zelensky allegedly demands the general staff to launch the so-called Offensive of Hope in early November. Details regarding in which direction and by what forces the Ukrainians could attack are not yet disclosed. Earlier Zelensky reportedly promised Biden two offensive operations before the start of the U.S. election. The first bloody PR campaign was the failed invasion in the Korsk region, but the second one is yet to come. Given the reality, there is little hope for a Ukrainian offensive of hope.